guys. Rick Shaw here again. I, uh, I want to do something on uh, housing here uh, for an expat and uh, let you know a little bit about that. Yeah, I feel a little bit better. The heart's down to it's about 56 now at rest. So I feel a little bit better. Uh, lasted four hours and and then it was still up around a hundred and some for a few more hours. I feel better. Got a bath. And, yeah, I feel a lot better. Take a little walk here, but I'll show you some of the houses around here and tell you about uh, stuff. There's our water guy. Hey, hi. Merry Christmas. And uh, the housing here in the Philippines. I, I got my name put on the last house my wife and I had, and it was uh, a little little house. And, but uh, just know this when you come to the Philippines, uh, do not uh, uh, think that you're going to buy a house. Uh, you can't own it. Uh, if uh, your wife wanted to put you out of it, she, uh, she could. It's, it's, it's not yours. Uh, you can never own property. You can own a condo and you can lease the land to build a house, but you can't own it. But, uh, so, so know that when you come here. I'm sure a lot of you guys looked at the other expat sites. You probably already know that already, but just coming from me, that's, you, can, you can't own it. Uh, there's a little house for sale. Look at that. See how the people just aren't there. So, and then uh, right next to it, we got another one for sale. I'm going to show you this one right now. This one's for sale. They, they kind of leave and go a little bit, but I'm going to walk back on down to the house here. And uh, another thing, too, you know, if you want to own a house, they say you can become a citizen. And uh, myself, uh, I'm... I'm not going to uh, do that. You've got to renounce your citizenship. In the U.S., you got to you actually go down and swear and do all this kind of stuff. But in the Philippines, they don't. Uh, they just want you to throw your hand up and say, I, I uh, renounce my citizenship. Well, I'm not going to do that. Why, why would you just to own some land here? You, you, you go out and you start lying to them right off the bat. You lie to these lovely people. Uh, I'm not going to do it. Uh, you've got to be here five years. And I, some people say it takes longer, some people less. But uh, uh, they want you to lie. Uh, they, not, the, not the Filipino government, but the, the, the people who want to do this, they, they, they all lie to do it. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to renounce my citizenship uh, by going to the U.S. consulate and swearing off of it or just by saying it in, in front of, uh, under oath in front of a bunch of Filipinos. not going to do it. I um, just kept my citizenship. I'll keep doing my, uh... there's another empty one, by the way, fixer upper. But, uh, um, you know, I'll just keep doing my uh, permanent resident thing, and and uh, just just going to be the way to do it. Uh, don't don't you know, don't come here, and, and uh, I don't recommend anybody coming here and doing something like uh, lying to lying to these people under oath. Don't just don't don't do that. So, but that that was a little short one here. I wanted to I wanted to make sure you guys uh, knew about that. I took a feel a little bit better. Got a little bite to eat. And, uh, took a bath. My wife was teasing me on the first one. Oh, did you take a bath before you do the first one? And I, I don't think you guys can smell me. I hope not. <laughs> I hope not anyway. But, but um, that's that. She's, she's uh, doing some laundry today. You're putting them upstairs up there. This house is going to be for sale when we move. Uh, the, the guy's fixing up a little bit. The new, this is new gate. We contracted a guy to do the gate. He come and did a real nice job good hinges on it and everything like that great good great price you know uh, it was I believe it was uh, 18,000 for you know steel gate and you know like the nice this one here he put good good hinges on it I like the hinges I hope that didn't glare out too bad but there's the hinges there's the inside little, little mailbox hey jumper boy how you guys doing I'm here oh yeah no, don't go upstairs. Can't let him go upstairs. I got the all the Christmas stuff sitting up there, and none of it's wrapped yet, so I can't let him go upstairs. But uh, well, my little neighborhood. I'll walk down here a little bit so you can see it also. But uh, those those just a uh, couple things I was thinking about and, and wanted to show you. I don't mean to get diarrhea of the mouth or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I hope you watch this uh, channel and see it. Here's this other house. It's it's empty. Uh, there, a lot of people are coming in and buying these. They originally sold for about a million and a half. Now they're going for around three. And, uh, you know, people are coming in and fixing these up. It's a little bit more affluent than where we used to live. That's a nice, nice place. Howdy. 
And uh, they're, they're got some beautiful little places. They fix them up real nice. This one here on the end, I believe it's for sale for uh, three eight. And it's got a little bit of a corner one, so it's got a little bit of a bigger yard, nice gate. It's all painted up pretty. Uh, it's actually not a bad, not too bad of a place. And uh, we got this one down here. They got, oh, I love this one with all the plants. Look at that. Look at the beautiful plants they got here. And it's just a nice place. I like this uh, one. We're, we're going to be moving down to Lippa whenever they get our place done. And... Uh, you know, it's a nice area. I like that area. A lot of, a lot of foreigners down there, so I'll have somebody to talk to. Uh, another thing I'll, I'll tell you guys, too, about this country. Uh, it can be a lonely place uh, if you don't speak Tagalog. And I, I'm, I don't know why I can't pick up Tagalog. My wife will tell me a word and what it means, and I don't know why I forget it. I hope I'm not getting old-timers or something. But uh, I forget. So I'm having a hard time. I know a lot of the words, but can't hold a conversation. And a lot of times we go... You know, we'll go to a party or something. They're all talking in Tagalog, so it's kind of lonely. Uh, you know, a lot of the TV is in Tagalog. Uh, I'm glad my kids are kids are getting it, and, and I'm doing my best to pick it up. I wish there was a regular classroom setting where I could go in. I'm sure there's stuff online. I get, went online, and I don't really follow through with it. So, a lot it's my my uh, deficiency. So, but. Uh, it's a little neighborhood. There's a nice water tank there. This house has a really good uh, water pressure. Uh, it's got a, a proper bathroom. Last place we lived in, when we first lived there, we only got water from 4 o'clock in the afternoon till a little bit after dark. And we fill up the 55-gallon drums, like plastic ones, and uh, Tabo to take a bath, you know. And uh, sometimes the water wouldn't come on for, you know, days. And then towards the end there, they... they Fixed it up. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Why are you going with socks? Cause I, cause I couldn't get my shoes on. So what? I didn't stand in here. Oh, be careful, careful. My back's really sore today, buddy. Okay, watch out. Let me just walk, okay? Thanks, buddy. So, um, yeah, and then they started doing it around two to four in the morning. Uh, you know, that's just how it was. But this place has a proper, proper water pressure. That big tank over there. Take a shower. Uh, the showers are broken here. Uh, slowly fixing things up. Kind of, kind of stopped uh, because of the Christmas coming. Hi, buddy. Hi, beautiful boy. And uh, so we can take a proper shower in there. But I got a hose, and, and it's it's really nice to have water all the time here. A lot of places, though, where I where I was at and where I used to live, they they don't have the water all the time. So you know, that's just one of those things. But, uh, this place, uh, he's fixing it up. Uh, once the paint, I understand Christmas time, so things stop. But we, we did the gate, and I, I did a lot of a lot of little nitpicky things. Uh, also, uh, it's just going off. Hang on, buddy. I just want to go on something else too about uh, LEDs. Uh, I want to talk about that. It just popped into my head. But LEDs. When I was in the states, they were coming in big, and and they uh, do save you a lot of electricity. But and a lot of this stuff comes out of China. In this country, uh, when we move, I'm going back to the compact fluorescence. I just am, because uh, they didn't save me one dime, not a damn dime. I tried different ones, and uh, they're, they're kind of pricey. Uh, and yeah, electric bill went way down. But you got to figure the cost of buying these things, and then, and then you, they run a month or two and burn out. Uh, a friend of mine said, oh, buy this uh, Firefly brand. They're the best. OK, great. I bought it. It's beautiful. They're in a beautiful box. I think they spent more money on the box than they did the light. Uh, China, I think believe they're Chinese. I'm not sure, but I bought I bought a bunch of them for this place and uh, put them in. And, oh, hey, it was wonderful. Uh, you, you pick your color. I like the yellowy one on the inside kitchen and the real white one outside. Uh, uh, very bright. I want my kitchen real bright. Well, guess what? <laughs> We've been here since I don't know uh, April, I believe, and it's uh, right before Christmas. And uh, most of them are burnt out already. Uh, they're no, they're no good. They just they won't light. Uh, so you know. And the cost of them. Uh, I paid the one real big one. I had 380 pesos. So that, you know that's not that's not cheap. Uh, now if they would run like a compact fluorescent for years and years and years, yeah, great, uh, great. Because I mean, our last place uh, electric bill was around 2,000 pesos a month, and uh, I leave I left outside lights on. I had uh, off my dirty kitchen. I left lights over there all the time, and I had a big one in the front. Uh, and then I switched to compact fluorescence. It's got a real bright one. I don't know what the equivalent on the wattage was, but it was a, a 25 
watt compact fluorescent, very bright, lit the whole neighborhood. The neighbors are all sad we moved because nobody runs the lights anymore. But, but yeah, we, we, it was lit up very good there. Yeah, but the cost of them, uh, just keep buying them. So that's, that's not good. That's, that's not very good at all. But, yeah, that's just uh, some more things that I, I come up with. Uh, uh, hope, hope you like the channel and share it with some folks. And, you know, if you're coming here, these are just things that are on the top of my head right now. And like I say, when I can get out, I'm going to get out and get some uh, more pictures of beautiful country and some of the malls and all the cool stuff here. Uh, take you up to Jolly Mart. It's actually Walter Mart, but I call it Jolly Mart because they have it, all of them have a Jolly Bee in there. And, uh, uh, just a jolly place, so I call, I call it Jolly Mart. But uh, lots of stuff you can get here. You know, we ju we just bought a uh, Panasonic washer. I didn't want to go with any Chinese thing. We had a little one my wife bought, just a little wishy washy, and then it had a little spinner on the side, uh, 8,000 pesos or something. Motor burned out already. Uh, I wanted to get a proper washer machine, so I got this Panasonic job. Uh, it's an 11 kilo uh, basket, and it does a great job on the clothes. And uh, it's whisper quiet. Uh, I actually, in the United States, I had a Maytag. Uh, I had, in California, I had to have the water saver, so it was a front loader. And it was loud. When that thing, thing ran, uh, you had to close the door to the laundry room, and you still heard it. I mean, uh, I, I wouldn't run it when people were over. It just was loud and obnoxious and noisy and a uh, great machine, but a uh, pain in the butt when you had to run it. And I'd run it at night and then go sleep upstairs from the other side of the house just so I didn't have to listen to the damn thing. And you could still hear it. This one here, <laughs> it's like my car. You can't hear it. It just is whisper quiet uh, through every cycle. Uh, it's got a little uh, air dry cycle. There's no, no uh, it's, it's a dryer, but it's, it's not with heat. And it spins the clothes out and gets them, gets them pretty dry. You hang them up outside and the clothes are dry quick. Things dry quick here in the Philippines. Uh, very very quickly the clothes and uh, so there there's that so I'm gonna let you guys go again and again Merry Christmas to all to all a good night